supposed to bring your harness too? Hope so, man. <laughs> Actually, I teach the repelling classes, and I teach an intro, and we're going to teach a, an advanced class as well. Rope! So I'll rig this up today to where we can actually use both ropes. You can either do, like, when I say both, you actually put your repel device on both. A lot of times, if, we, if it's too much friction, um, you can use one strand of the rope. For today, which we'll actually, we're going to set it up with both strands. That will allow us to stop in the middle and talk as well. How long have you uh, been doing uh, rock repelling? You know, actually, I started when I was 13, and it was in Boy Scouts. And uh, it was just kind of something I took up. Always an interest and just something about being up high just always was kind of a fun challenge for me. And so I started repelling with the Boy Scouts and actually uh, did quite a bit at their uh, scout camp and actually was helping out a lot. And then later on, I um, actually kind of got out here. Actually, this is the first place I repelled at when I was 16. And uh, went Australian style. And uh, oh yeah, it was a blast actually. So, and ever since then, it's just been one of those things that, that has just always been a hobby that's kind of stuck with me. People in the Joplin area, where would they go to learn how to rock repel? Sure, the best place is SWMO Outdoor Adventures on Facebook. And you can go on there, we'll have a class every month at the end of the month. And uh, we'll start off with a entry level course and then we'll also have some level two courses as well. What's one thing that you've learned while instructing these classes? One of the biggest things I've learned that I always, I'm always surprised about, and again, it's uh, the people that take my class. Uh, most of them are scared of heights, and they, they come here to conquer their fears. And I think that's great. How long is your class run for? Uh, my class runs uh, from 8.30 in the morning to about 3.30 or 4. And really, we, uh, we end the class when everybody's done. Uh, usually we'll stop the class, kind of check, see where everybody's at, and um, but while the equipment's out, I let them keep going, and the latest I've been here is till six o'clock at night. So, and that's uh, to me, I like that because it really says the people had fun all day long. So the class isn't just uh, you sit down and go over some knots; you actually get to go up and down the side of this uh, bluff here. Is that correct? That's correct. Usually, we'll spend we'll spend about a couple hours, and we'll go over knots, we'll go over safety, we'll go over the equipment, and then from there on. From there, we move over here, and we put everything in the motion. And um, we um, spend the rest of the time. We'll have average, uh, average repel for everybody is usually about four or five times. Is there any uh, restrictions that anybody needs to know before signing up for your class? The biggest restriction is as long as you're able to hike, uh, you can pretty much take my class. And also the age of 12, you got to be at least over the age of 12, and that's mainly so you can kind of hold yourself as you're coming down. And also, no impairments or as far as alcohol or drugs, you know, for the class uh, to bring to bring with you. Uh, just wear long pants, wear gloves, or have gloves, and uh, just bring a lunch. And that way we can kind of sit down and picnic and kind of go from there. Please tell me what the Australian style is. So Australian style is a style that uh, sometimes people think is just bouncing from the rock. And that's just kind of, just like it says. Uh, Australian style is you're going down face first. So you literally do everything backwards. And with Australian style, it's a little bit more on the advanced side of things. And it will, uh, 
uh, definitely definitely a lot of fun because if you can imagine you know the fall factor and falling down face first on just normal steps you're actually going face first down an entire rock and you actually almost get to a run just kind of keep up with it.